This video originally appeared on Hardware AI channel. If you're interested in robotics and machine learning, you can go to link below and check it out. Today we will use Scipid Makes Beatboard to perform image recognition on any object. Well, almost any. I already made a video on how to run OpenMV demos on Scipid Makes Bit and also how to perform object detection with this board. Out of many questions people have asked me in the comments was how can I recognize an object that the neural network wasn't trained for? In other words, how to make your own image classifier and run it with the hardware acceleration. This is an understandable question, since for your, for your own project you don't want to recognize some generic objects like cats, dogs or airplanes, you want to recognize something specific for you. For example, that could be um, a breed of dog for your automatic pet door, or a species of plants for sorting, or it could be any other exciting application you can think about. In the article, link in the video description, I will teach you how to create your own custom image classifier with Keras, convert it to train model to K model format, and then run it on the Scipid board. I use Scipid Makes Bit, but actually it can be any board you want. It could be Scipid Den Dog or it could be uh, Scipid Makes Go. Using MicroPython or Arduino IDE. And only your imagination will be the limit to the things you can do with this knowledge. Convolutional Neural Networks, or CNN, is a class of deep neural networks most commonly applied for analyzing visual imagery. There is a lot of literature on the internet for, on this topic, and I'll give you some links in the last part of the article if you want to do some further reading. In short, you can think of CNN as a series of filters applied to the image, each filter looking for a specific feature in the image. On the lower convolutional layers, the features are usually lines and simple shapes, and on the higher layers, the features can be more specific. For example, body parts, specific textures, parts of animals or plants, etc. etc. A presence of certain set of features can give us a clue to what the object in the image might be. Whiskers, two eyes and a black nose? Must be a cat. Green leaves, a tree trunk? Looks like a tree. I hope you can get the idea about the working principle of CNN now. Normally, a deep neural network needs thousands of images and hours of training time to develop the filters that are useful for recognizing the types of objects you want. But there is a shortcut. A model trained to recognize a lot of different common objects – cats, dogs, house appliances, transports, and so on and so forth – already has a lot of these useful filters developed. So we don't need to learn recognizing the basic shapes and parts of the objects again. We can just retrain the last few layers of the network to recognize specific classes of the objects that are important for us. This is called transfer learning. You need significantly much less training data and compute time with transfer learning, since you're only training last few layers of the network, composed maybe of a few hundred neurons. Sounds awesome, right? Follow the link to the article to see how to implement it in the code. If you think this is a cool project, press the like button. Bye!